Basic stretching routine. Start by working your toes back and forth. Both feet, right ankle up and down and around. Reverse. Knee up and around. Reverse. Shake that off. Other foot, up and down. Ankle around. Reverse. Knee around. Reverse. Shake it off. Okay, both feet together. Keep your back nice and straight. Make your knees soft if you have to, but let's bend it forward. Good, let your head get heavy as you get to the bottom. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rope, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rope, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Good, and a trunk rotation. Reverse. Side to side. Twist two bounces. One. Arms forward. Reverse. A little over and under. Shake them off. Good. Both feet towards the mirror. Good. Keep those legs straight. Move your chest forward over that forward leg. Counting for 20. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rope, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rope, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Take a knee. Working the hip flexor here. Get a little stretch there. Good. Okay, take that into a runner stretch. And again, I'm holding for 20, counting it. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, ha, shi, ku, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, ha, shi, ku, ju. Good. And pushing the front leg forward into my split. So the weight can be on the back knee, but you want the toe up and the forward leg on the heel, and that way you can little by little work that out. Good, let's bring that into the center. Good, here we're just gonna do a standing straddle, folded arms hang for 20. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Changing directions, good. Keep them over that forward leg, legs are straight for 20. Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rook, Sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, ni, sa, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Take a knee. Extend that once again here for the hip flexor, pressing that in. Holding this for about 20 seconds, longer if it feels good for you. Good, now taking that into a runner stretch, so holding like a figure four, that knee in front of me. Now, you can stay up here like this, or you can fold over it. This will be in the back of your hip, whatever feels good for you. Holding again for another 10 seconds here. Good, and as before, pushing out into my split. If you did that 100 kick challenge, oh sorry, 200 kick challenge, maybe you're a little sore today. Good, and taking out that center split. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. And so we work that back. Seated straddle, make sure you're as good as you can be. Keeping the chest low and skimming towards the floor, work it back and forth about 10 times. Good, now hold to each side for 20 seconds, 20 count. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, 
go, rook, sitch, hatch, coup, ju, other side. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, coup, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, coup, ju. And in the center. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, coup, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, coup, ju. When you finish the stretch, come up slowly, balance the legs in nice and easy. You go in a center, straight legs forward, reaching for your toes. What's important here isn't necessarily how far you can reach forward or lay your chest forward. What's important is staying up on your sit bones and leaning into this as much as possible, whatever that limit is for you. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Butterflies. up and down, sit nice and tall, a little steady pressure here using my elbows to try and get those thighs flattened out. Good, chest to floor, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Very good, bring it in, stand up, Good, should get off a little bit. Oz, great way to get the body warm, different kind of an exercise than working on your planks, sit-ups and push-ups, is to do an inchworm style practice. You can do this in a really small amount of space. Not only is it great for strength conditioning, also flexibility. Inchworm exercise, guys. Remember this one? So you're gonna walk your hands down, walk your hands out. You can do your push-up here, nice and straight and strong, and then tiptoe those toes up to your hands, try to keep your legs straight as possible. Bring that up, turn around, and repeat. Do at least 10 of those today, guys, or 20 if you're feeling up to it. Great job. Os, working on your kata from a fudodachi position can present a challenge, uh, but it's also a really great way to work on your kata in a very limited space. I'm gonna do two katas today for you um, and suggest that you follow along with these. I'm gonna do taekyoko one, um, that'll be the first kata, and then I'll also present uh, pinyon two in this format. And I'll, I'll try to show it a couple of different ways so you guys all get the idea of it. What you wanna concentrate on is which hand and which foot forward and back would be doing the technique rather than really considering rights and lefts. Really easier to think about it forward and back. So Taekyoko 1, doing just hands from Fudodachi. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hach, kia, ku, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, Ju and nare. So as you're reviewing that, you want to also remember our ki rule, which is what? Backhand, back foot does the technique after the ki. Work hard on that. Try to do all of your katas, even if taikyoku one is the only kata in your repertoire right now. Make good use of that uh, and work that really, really hard. Good job, guys. And just hands from a rear view. This maybe will help uh, some of the students follow along this way a little bit easier. Yoi. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rok, sitch, hach, kia, ku, ju. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rok, kia, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Another way to check is my left hand, the hand out in the final punch. This is the correct way. Nare. Os, 
Demonstration uh, for your practice of pinyon two, doing just a hands version. This is a great way to work on your kata. Pinyon two is a yellow belt form, an intermediate level kata, but this will challenge you to not only really visualize the kata itself, but also to uh, work those solid hand techniques without the stances uh, and the changes in direction, but you do execute the kicks if there are kicks in the kata. So pinyon two, hands version from Fudodachi. Yoi. Itch. Me, San, Shi, Go, Rope, Sitch, Hotch, Kia, Ku, Ju, Itch, Me, San, Shi, Go, Rope, Sitch, And nare. Os. Give that a try. Use your other katas as well. Great challenge. Good job, guys. Os.